I don't even know how to start. I met this family. Sammy, Julius, Jewel, Jacinta, and Story. And they were living through a nightmare. The story is not about the nightmare. The story is about Julius. Julius is the son of Sammy and Jewel and he is probably one of the best human beings I have ever met in my life. He manages to live through his circumstance with joy, with love, yeah. with laughter, <laughs> with a lot of sword fighting. He's a lover. He loves incredibly hard. That does not sound like the son of moms who were and are incarcerated. When I asked Julius if he was okay with this documentary being about him, he very quickly said yes. I don't know if he knew all of what that meant. I don't think <laughs> I knew exactly what I was getting into, but I'm so glad that he said yes. With this, my biggest ask of him was, will you allow me to tell your story right? And there is nothing more that people can feel than the words and their weight coming from a child's perspective. Here we go. You gotta say cut, right? Yeah. I'll give you a three, two, one, right? Yeah. And then on one, you're gonna say cut, right? Okay. You gotta put it down at the same time. All right, three, two, one. Cut! Nice. Hi there, my name is Sasha Rayom and I am the producer of Lost Time. Lost Time is a documentary about Julius, a very special young boy who is living extraordinary circumstances. Not only does Julius have two amazing moms, but he has never experienced having them both home at once. One has always been incarcerated. Now, when we watch documentaries about incarceration, we're usually following the person who has been incarcerated. We don't always follow the people on the outside, and very rarely do we get to see a child's perspective on it. Why this documentary is so important is because it follows Julius as he navigates the world in these very extraordinary circumstances. Everything has already been shot, so in terms of the crowdfunding campaign that we're launching, the money would be going to recuperating the costs of production, so things like hotels, equipment, catering, all that fun stuff. It also goes towards post-production, so things like finding and being able to pay an editor, getting color correction, sound mixing, as well as being able to share Julius's story around the world by sending our documentary to film festivals. Channing, the director, and I find this story to be so amazing, and hopefully by you watching this, you think so too. And if you can't help um, in terms of making a donation, that is totally fine. Even something as small as sharing um, the page on social media can go a long way. We have done a full breakdown of what costs would go to down below, so feel free to take a look at that. Um, otherwise, on behalf of myself, Channing, our production crew, Julius, Sammy, Jules, and Story, thank you.